Packing a healthy lunchbox can be a real challenge with many families battling the financial impact of COVID-19. You can easily run out of healthy and delicious lunchbox ideas. On the show this morning, health coach Christine Phillips is helping you prepare a healthy school lunchbox that won't break the bank. And she joins us now live. Christine, thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. Now, of course, there's a lot of parents who, for instance, lost their jobs or had to had their salaries cut because of COVID-19 and uh, basically what it's done to us economically. Um, how do you make your child a lunchbox that will still be healthy but not cost a lot? All right, so it's quite important that our children um, get a lot of nutrients, um, especially at this time where, um, you know, your immune systems need to be um, packed with a lot of vitamins. We want to look after our health. We want to look after our brain health. And some of my favorite things to use um, from the point of getting a lot of protein in, which is a still very, very economical, is beans, legumes, and lentils and things like that. So our favorite thing in our lunch boxes are things like chickpeas. Chickpeas, butter beans, um, lentils, those are great sources of protein and they're really, really economical. You can buy them in um, packets and boil them up and it's really um, so economical to do. And some of our favorites are making things like hummus, um, like a butter bean dip. So here I've got things like chickpeas with a little bit of lemon and garlic um, and water. And then I blitz this up to make a hummus like this. And hummus is packed with um, omegas and protein and healthy fibers. And you can smear that on the sandwiches. You can put it in wraps. You can use it with fresh vegetables um, as a dipping thing as well. Um, so what I always suggest is always eat seasonal foods. Seasonal foods are so much more economical. You buy a whole lot of them, chop them up, freeze them, um, because you're getting them at a really good price. Um, and they're what your body needs at that particular time. So give your children lots of fruits, lots of vegetables that are in season. And then go for the things like the butter beans and the chickpeas and the black beans. All those things are really, really nutritious and so economical um, for your family to have at this particular time. But and I've I... actually shown you quite a few examples of healthy fats and fruits and, and seasonal foods that are really, really good for your children and for their brain health and um, packed with the nutrients they need so they can concentrate at school. Um, we can't send our children to school hungry and they really need the right nutrients so they can concentrate and get the most out of their school day. Mm. But of course, there's also that question, how do you convince your children to have <laughs> vegetables especially? <laughs> well, you know, I always believe you've got to keep trying and trying and trying. Um, and they, children lead by example. So as you as a parent are eating these things yourself and you do introduce them into your home, Keep trying. Don't just let them try it once and say, oh, they don't like it. Keep trying it over and over again. Um, but, you know, adding, just make sure they're full of flavor when you cook them. I mean, the beans and all of that. I mean, this, we've got a little butter bean salad jar here. It's got butter beans and lemon and a little bit of olive oil and some fresh herbs and then tomatoes and cucumbers. I mean, that is really, really delicious. Just try and introduce new things and get your children to make these lunch boxes with you. Get their buy-in, um, and everything's so beautiful and brightly colored. Let them be part of preparing the lunchbox, and then maybe they will eat a little bit more of it. Mm. But also, how important is it, for instance, there are parents, uh, Christine, that we have to admit probably don't even have the money to be able to get uh, those seasonal fruits and vegetables like you're suggesting. And they probably yeah. can only afford to give their children probably bread and butter. Um, you know, what would you advise to those parents who, for instance, really um, can't afford it? Should they probably uh, have their own garden of these types of uh, fruits and vegetables? It really is great if you have the space to do your own little veggie garden. Um, you know, plan ahead. Um, again, plan ahead for what is coming up that season and start planting um, just before the season so that you do get things like fresh spinach and tomatoes. Um, they're quite easy to grow those things. So you plant them quickly and you'll get a, such an abundance of them. Um, so you can use those. And some of my suggestions with bread is that just try and make small little changes if you can't afford a lot, but try and move from white bread just to brown bread. It's a little bit more expensive, but you're going to gain so much more nutrients. Um, and 
you know, I think, you know, just change those little things um, and be more, more mindful on that. But seasonal foods, planting your own, um, you know, and, and again, children will enjoy the planting process. Naturally, naturally, they love to be outside. So get them involved with the planting process. Um, seeds are really, really economical. And, you know, maybe you and your neighbor can share and, you know, they can be planting um, the tomatoes and you doing the spinach and the carrots and share that and then swap things around. So, you know, as a community, we can share because we don't always have the space to have um, to grow so much stuff. Mm -hmm. But maybe between you and your neighbors, you can all plant something and then share their produce together. Mm. Well, thank you very much for your time and that advice. That is, of course, health coach Christine Phillips.